Hi guys, welcome back to another edition in our CSEC exam pass paper questions and solutions here on Will EduTech and I hope you are excited as I am about this question. This is a vector question, one of my favorite topics. Now let's just quickly get into it here in part C uh, taken from the May 2011 paper we are we have a statement here WXYV is a parallelogram in which Oh, just let me break a bit. Let me just pull this up so we can see the entire thing. I think that's more appropriate. Okay, then that's pretty much good. Now let's 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 continue. W X Y V is a parallelogram in which V Y is equal to common A. Okay, and you can see it V to Y at the base here. V Y is equal to common A, and V to W is equal to common B, meaning V to W. And and just remember the arrowheads at the top. Uh, above the letters rather simply means the direction that the vector is going in okay that you're traveling now here they have stated that s is a point on wy such that w the ratio of ws to sy is equal to 1 to 2 meaning that w to s is one part and s to y is two parts of wy the distance w y which is this uh, diagonal line that I'm running my pointer along right now okay so basically uh, what this is saying now they're asking us to write in terms of a and b an expression for the distance w to y okay that's part a of part one so let's just quickly look at that now this is pretty cool very interesting question now here we are at the point w okay and they're asking us to find the point well they're asking us here to write an expression for w w y okay my friends w y so basically let's just imagine and what, what what I would what I would recommend is that you imagine that this diagram is a play field. Just think about this as a play field, and you're on this play field. And let's say you and your friend, and let me just use two names. My name is Tyrone, and a friend of mine is Jeffrey. So let's say Tyrone and Jeffrey was standing at the point W. Then, for example, there are two there are two different uh, directions that Tyrone and Jeffrey can take to reach to the point Y okay because w since they want us to find WY to move from W to Y let's say for example Jeffrey can walk across the play field along this diagonal line which is WY okay but Tyrone could take another direction he could have walked from W to V and then from V to Y to get to the same point Y okay so there are two different two separate directions all right so what I'm interested in right now is to find the distance that Tyrone would have would have take to travel to the point Y so let's quickly look at that so here in part one and if you notice a very important thing I want to, to make note of is the fact that from V to W, if you notice where the arrowhead is pointing, that's a positive direction, okay? And V to W, we already denoted that uh, we can use the letter B. But now Tyrone is going to be moving from v, from W to V and then from V to Y. So he's going to be moving in the opposite direction. Now, when working with vectors and you're moving in the opposite direction, okay, that would be considered as a negative direction. So since from V to W is a positive direction, as they had stated it here, V to W is a positive direction, then from W to V would be considered a negative direction. So instead of having positive B, I am moving negative B now. Okay, so quickly for part 1A, part 1A, okay, part 1A, we would have the distance W, WY. And I'm going to put my arrowhead to suggest the vector is equal to uh, since V to W is the positive direction then I am moving negative in a negative direction so that would be negative VW okay my friends plus and when I've moved negative VW 
from W up top here to this point at V, I would have moved negative VW, and then I would have moved now positive V to Y, okay? So that movement V to Y now, since the arrow is going in that direction, it would be a positive VY, okay? VY. So basically, by substitution, based on what they have given us, remember that negative VW now can be represented as negative B, okay? So I can say this is negative B, and I'm adding to that a positive A, because this direction is a positive A. I'm just substituting the common letters for the capital letters now, okay? That's simply what I'm doing. So basically, um, since the negative... No since the negative letter is at the front, I could just put that at the back by saying A minus B. And that would be our answer. It is as simple as that, my friends. Okay? So that's our answer. That's our expression for the distance W to Y as a vector. So quickly, let's look at part 2 now. In part 2, they're asking us to find W to S. Okay, my friends? So part B here, they're asking us to find W W. To S and this is pretty cool one thing I would like you to note um, is this piece of information this is a critical piece of information that they have given us up here okay they said that S is a point on WY and we have seen it clearly here the point S here on WY such that W to S so they are saying now let me change my color they are saying now W to S is equal to one part because we're reading the ratios respectively because ws comes first so ws would be one part so from w from the point w here to s that would be one part and then now they're saying that uh, s to y is equal to two parts so from s to y i would divide that into two parts okay two equal parts so this is one part then this is two part and this is three parts so basically what we have here in our ratio we have a total of three parts one plus two is equal to three so the distance as we have been saying from from as we have said rather from w to y okay which we have found earlier is a minus b however now they are asking us to find w to s so if you notice w to s would be one out of the total of three parts of W to Y. So basically W to Y is the total and if you notice from W to S is one part out of out of that out of those three parts. So basically what we can say here, let me change the color quickly. We can say W to S is equal to one third and I hope you're you, you're seeing that one third of W Y. Okay my friends but if you notice earlier if you notice earlier, we found in part A the, the expression for W to Y. So then, therefore, we can say now by substitution, W to S is one third of our expression that we have found earlier. And let me just write that properly. A minus B. And that would be our expression. That's our, our answer. It's that easy, my friends. Okay?